What's going on guys and welcome to the next episode of the Crack of Hacks series. Today we are opening up for the first time, I believe, uh, on this series, a pack of 7th edition, which is actually the first set that I ever opened. Uh, so back Christmas time, a long, long time ago, uh, my mom got me the starter set along with a few packs. And so 7th edition kind of has a little nostalgia uh, trip for me. Uh, pretty excited to open this. Of course, we're going to go through this as if it's a pack one, pick one scenario. So we'll do our best to determine what our uh, draft pick would be if we were actually drafting this set. In addition, uh, there's a lot of really good stuff in this set, actually. So sitting at the top is Ensnaring Bridge at like 50 bucks. It takes a turn down to Birds of Paradise at 13, Wrath of God right around 10, Coat of Arms at 10, uh, but there's a lot of just really good like general like $4 cards, $5 cards, things like that. Uh, so there's actually a good bit in here. Hopefully we get something awesome. Uh, sleight of Hand is a common, it's like two or three bucks. So we'll see what we get. Uh, our first card here is Trained Armadon. It's a 3-3 three, three for one and two green. Pretty vanilla creature, but it is a 3-3 three, three for three. Uh, this is obviously also sort of a core set, so 3-3 uh, three, three for three is probably not bad. Uh, as old as this set is as well, I think that's probably okay. Uh, Naja is a sorcery for one and a black. All creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Uh, I think this is like really good against certain decks. Goblins are a thing in this set. Uh, and so I feel like against that deck, it would be amazing. Uh, that being said, I don't know if it's really a good first pick. Uh, Cloud Chaser Eagle is a 2-2 two, two for 3 and a white. It has flying, and when it comes into play, you destroy target enchantment. Uh, this is not amazing. Uh, I feel like it would be really, really good sideboard tech because it is a flyer. It's a threat. Uh, but it also does blow up an enchantment. I think that's actually decently powerful. It's just enchantments aren't necessarily going to be the prime thing you're going to see a lot of uh, in draft. That being said, there are a number of enchantments in this set, so you might actually have a target for it. Uh, this card seems a little bit up my alley. So Lightning Elemental, a 4-1 for 3 and a red with haste. Uh, just a big beater. <laughs> it just comes in and it swings, does a lot of damage. Yes, it will probably die, uh, but if you think about it, this is kind of a four mana removal spell because they do have to deal with this. Uh, it's a pretty big clock, so I do like that. Uh, Sage Owl is a 1 1 for 1 and a blue. It has flying, and when it comes into play, look at the top four cards of your library and then put them back in any order. Uh, this card's okay. It's not amazing. Uh, you do get to look at the top four cards of your deck and obviously put them back in the way that most benefits you, which is fantastic. The reason it's not quite as good is because you don't actually get to change the top four cards of your deck. Uh, it would be a lot better, for instance, if you could say, look at the top four cards of your deck and put two of them on the bottom of your library, put two on the top, whatever. Something along those lines would be amazing, uh, but still not a bad card. Uh, I think I like Lightning Elemental better, though. Uh, Raise Dead is a sorcery for one black. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. This is a pretty classic card. It's great. Uh, it's cheap. It's easy to use. And it obviously pulls back, hopefully, a very powerful creature from your graveyard. So for that reason, I like this card. Not necessarily first pick, but if I was in black, I would like it. Uh, Sacred Nectar, you gain four life. It's a sorcery for one and a white. Not at all my kind of card. Uh, I do remember this card very well, but I don't like it. Uh, it's just not good. Life gain in general is not amazing. Uh, wasting a card slot in your deck for something like this just is not a good idea. Uh, Goblin Gardener. Uh, it is a 2-1 for 3 and a red. When it is put into the graveyard from play, destroy target land. Uh, this card is much better in like constructed stuff. That being said, obviously it's not an amazing card in general, but uh, the reason I say that, it's, it's okay uh, in limited, you're going to get value off of it, but it's still a 2-1 for 4, and all you're really going to be doing is destroying most likely a basic land. Uh, there are obviously other lands in this set, but really nothing worth blowing up, uh, and so for that reason I don't really like that. Uh, Flight, another classic card. Enchant creature for one blue. It has flying. Uh, pretty straightforward card. Not great. Uh, it's just kind of okay. It gives something flying. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, Grizzly Bears, another really classic card. 2-2 two, two for two. Vanilla creature. This is the standard for the actual vanilla test. So if it's a 2-2 two, two for two, it's a bear. Uh, this is fine. It's not amazing. It's curve fill. Uh, so I, again, not first pick, but it's decent. Spellbook, an artifact for zero that says you have no maximum hand size. 
Uh, this card is not a limited card at all. Definitely more of a constructed card, though it does have its uses in constructed. Uh, I do not like this in draft, though. Uh, Sustainer of the Realm is a 2-3 for 2 and 2 white. It has flying, and uh, when it blocks, it gets plus 0, plus 2 until end of turn. So far, that is definitely the pick. Uh, very powerful, flying, evasive threat. I love it. I like that a lot. Uh, Aether Flash, an enchantment for 2 and 2 red. Whenever a creature comes into play, Aether Flash deals 2 damage to it. Not a really good draft card. It's going to be hitting your creatures as well as theirs, so it doesn't seem ideal to me. Uh, that being said, you also have to take a turn off, so it just seems bad. Uh, our land and our rare is Benthic Behemoth. Uh, 5 and 3 blue for a 7-6 with Island Walk, so it can't be blocked as long as the defending player controls an island. Uh, honestly, I don't really like this that much. I mean, it's a big giant creature, which is fine. Uh, but I think I'd rather have the Sustainer of the Realm, to be honest. I just feel like it's going to come out more often. A lot of times the Behemoth is just going to be dead because you, you have to get to 8 mana. <laughs> That's a lot. Even in draft, that can be a lot sometimes. So I really like the Sustainer. That would definitely be my pick. Uh, guys, let me know if you disagree in the comment section below, by all means. I'm happy to talk about that. But... I'm going to get out of here. Please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below if you enjoyed this video. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.